Почитувани ученици, јас сум Јанчевска Снежана, наставник по англиски јазик во основното училиште Гоце Делчев во Ресен. И денеска повторно ќе се дружиме со учениците од девето одделение кои ја изучуваат програмата Pet Pasture. За таа цел, за денешнава презентација, отворете на страна 29 во вашите учебници и да ја започнеме денешнава презентација. So, communication and technology. The aims of our lesson today are talking about communication, expressing opinions and making choices, talking about ways to keep in touch, and types of communication. As you can see from the animations, there are so many ways to communicate around the globe today, but mostly the, the people use computers, cell phones, sending letters, sending postcards, texting on their phones, sending uh, faxes on fax machines, etc. On the next slide, we see a little girl sitting at the table and writing a letter to someone. And in the other picture, we see a young girl in a phone box making a phone call in London. But as you know, phone boxes are not very frequent today because we have more sophisticated ways to communicate. The next step of our presentation is Open back in your books on page 147 so that we can read the text there and then return back to exercise 10 in your books on page 29 so that we can answer the statements. So, let's start reading together. Communicating from one side of the world to the other has never been easier thanks to the internet and email. In real time, lots of different types of information can be transferred. Texts, messages, sounds, images. More communication means more freedom. In 1993, about 90,000 people were surfing the net. By 1996, the number had risen to 40 million, and in 2001, the figure was 200 million, an enormous growth. However, a third of the world's population, roughly 2 billion people, do not have electricity, and only 15% of them have a telephone line. For example, in India, there are 1 billion inhabitants, but only 5 million of them have a computer, of whom 1 million are connected to the Internet. In the whole of Africa, only 3 million people use the Internet. In Brazil, the situation is similar. Of 170 million inhabitants, only 8 million use the Internet. What can be done to change this situation? The Simputer is a personal computer used in India. Its name comes from the combination of two words, simple and computer, which accurately describes it. It is very easy to use. It is used for sending and receiving emails and for connecting to the web. Its biggest advantage is that it is very cheap. Then there are cyber cafes. These are places where you can go to have a drink, to eat something, to have a chat, and to use a computer. They are found everywhere, even in the poorest countries. Here, to get onto a computer, you just need to stand in the queue and wait your turn. 
Now that we read the text carefully, go back to exercise 10 in your books, listen and decide if the statements are true and mark them with T or false and mark them with F. Let's go with the first statement. Communicating was much harder in the past. The answer is true. Statement B. Sounds and images cannot be transferred in real time. The answer is false. Statement C. By 1996, over 200 million people were surfing the net. The answer is false. Statement D. 5 million of India's 1 billion inhabitants have computer. The answer is true. Statement E. None of them are connected to the internet. The answer is false. Statement F. Brazil's 170 million inhabitants all use the internet. The answer is false. Statement G. Simputer is a simple computer used for sending and receiving emails. The answer is true. Statement H. Its disadvantage is that it's quite expensive. The answer is false. Statement I. Cyber cafes are all over the world. The answer is true. And statement J, you have to queue to get onto a computer. The answer is true. If you mark them like that, you have a right choice. Next is page 29, exercise 11b in which you have to listen to the pronunciation very carefully and mark the sentences with number one if you hear the sound have and with number two if you hear the sound have to. So pay attention very carefully to these sentences. We have to switch our mobile phones off in class. Number two. How many text messages have you sent today? Number one. You'll have to buy a new battery for your phone. Number two. I'll... I have to check my mail. Number two. So the only sentence where we hear have is in B. How many text messages have you sent today? The other three sentences have the sound have to.
Next, we go on to exercise 12, where we have to write an email to a friend. Why? Because you are traveling to Paris with a friend next week. Write an email to your friend. In your email, you should tell her that you've got the tickets and say what time you have to be at the airport. Warn her that she mustn't be late or she will miss the plane. And remind her that she has to bring her passport. Let this be your homework for the next lesson. So, thank you very much for watching and the attention. And if you like my presentation, be with me again next time. Until then, bye.